on this episode of Building the X Set, it's time to mount the rear fuel tank cover. I'm going to go over basic mounting positions, the bracket installation, and give you guys an idea of how I'm mounting it to hopefully help you guys out, uh, as some of this body work stuff is a little bit tricky to get right. First thing you want to do, put some blue painter's tape on the uh, side of the top hats here, and on that front rail and space your cover out accordingly. I have about an eighth inch gap here and then I drew a line down here and made sure I had about a quarter inch or so gap here and similar on this side. And then I basically traced it with a permanent marker. Um, so tracing that line will kind of let you know when you pull the cover off where you need to mount your uh, fuel tank mounts. I'm going to weld mine in. I'll show you that. Since my chassis is not powder coated, I really didn't need to put the blue tape on there, but um, I still marked it in a couple other areas. So now I have this mocked up basically exactly where I want it to sit on the car, and I'm going to remove it and uh, tack weld in my mounts and then slide it back on to check the fitment. Just so you guys know, um, these are what the mounts look like for the fuel tank cover. These here are the rear mounts that go next to the top hats. And these two are the front mounts that uh, go on the uh, 1.75 inch bar across the front. So uh, basically two of each. And uh, I'll show you the orientation here in a minute once I get them clamped in. Okay, so now I have some things tacked up or uh, mocked up here. See my line here. And then I allowed about an eighth inch for the fiberglass and then went in a little bit off of that. And that's what I have there. Over on the other side here, same thing. I have my line and then I'm spaced back about three sixteenths of an inch off of that line. Actually, you can do a little bit of adjustment to this guy here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple tacks, add a couple points on each one and then uh, test fit the cover. Uh, before that I'll go ahead and tack on the front ones too and then get that all test fitted and uh, if it's wrong that way you can easily cut out the mount and uh, and start over. Um, and then after I get them tacked and the fitment's good then I'll go ahead and fully weld those in and go from there. So real quick just to show you I got these tacked in on the rear here good of a job on that one. Um, and yes, I covered my gas tank because it does have gas in it with my welding blanket um, and my wires and so forth. And then these two front mounts, I, I hope these are in the right spot. They look to be lining up right, but I don't know. We're going to find out on that one. So those are the positions. Give you guys a second look there. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the tank cover, slip it over those, and see how it all lines up. Okay, so I got the uh, tank cover on there. Uh, kind of got everything spaced out. My one mount's right there, other mount's right there, both fill pretty flush. The rear mount's a little bit of flex there, but the bolt will suck that back in. This one here, a little bit of flex, but perfect. I am going to be raising it up some so there's a little more clearance there. So I have about that much clearance there. Um, as far as left to right, I'm about four and a half inches from the outside of this bar to this point, and about four and five eighths there. So uh, eighth inch off, you know, that's uh, that's good enough for the girls I go with. So I think that looks like the ticket there. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead in the next step here. I'm just going to kind of eye it down, take a break, double think this. As I like to do that before I drill into any of these panels, because um, you only get one shot. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, think about this, chew on it a little bit, and then we'll come back and I'll show you mounting, uh, drilling holes for the mounting uh, and rib nuts into those brackets. Okay, so. Now I got the cover off. I have uh, my mounts fully welded in here. I also have them drilled out for M5 uh, rib nuts. I wanted to go bigger than this, but I think I'm going to try M5 rib nuts first. 
I can always drill the hole out bigger if I need to. I just, um, yeah, I already got all the hardware I like for that size. The cover isn't that heavy, and with four points, I think that's going to be plenty uh, of, um, of holding power. So uh, as you can see, I got this one welded into this one over here, welded in, all ready to go. So now I'm going to test fit the cover, uh, putting it over it, get it shimmed up exactly where I want it to sit, and then I'm going to reach in from the back side, hopefully if I can get in there, and put a permanent marker through this hole and mark on the back of the cover. Then I will have the exact mounting points for the holes and I can drill those out from there. So now that these are all uh, welded on, I put M5 rib nuts, drilled this hole out and put a red M5 rib nut on both sides. I'm using a button head cap screw with a, it wasn't an M5 washer, but I believe it was a, a quarter inch, 5 16 washer, something like that. And I also have a 5 16 grommet in there. This will go through and this will pad it on the outside from, for the bodywork and on the inside to give it some cushion. Uh, that way the screw being torqued down will not, you know, mess up the bodywork and uh, gives a little vibration resistance off of this mount here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, kit, uh, put the cover back on and uh, get it mounted up before I go ahead and mark my front mounting holes. So here's the final fitment of the fuel tank cover. As you can see, I have it shimmed so it sits off the bars there. It sits off the bars here. Have my tail lights just mocked up here real quick and sits off the bars there. So, um, you know, turned out pretty good. Now I have to remove it to mount all my lights and get all my wet light wiring done. And, uh, yeah, that should be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like my uh, videos, please subscribe and hit like. Appreciate it. See you next time.